Today we take a look at the V4 100 inch projector screen and this is a huge box. It is pretty rare that I cannot fit a box on this table, but with this one I definitely cannot. I have eight foot ceilings and I cannot stand this box up from the floor to the ceiling. Like it is too tall for that. So pretty cool that they put corner protectors on it. So this is gonna be one well reinforced box, which is important because this is all one piece on the inside of here. And there we go. So it does come with instructions, it even has circuit diagrams. And there is the main unit. So on each side, we got a hanging hook. On this side, we got our controller. So it is just up, down, and then stop. And that connects to our power plug. But in the box, we also had a remote. It even has a wall mount on it. So if we want to, we can screw that to the wall. We'll have a spot to put the remote. And again, up, down. Oh, look at that. It's actually got batteries already in it. The controller also has a mounting plate. So if we want to, we can screw this to the wall and then we can clip the controller right into that. And it looks like we also have a spot where we can mount this directly to the wall. On the back of the screen, we can actually see this black, like reinforced material. So that's very important. Of course, the reinforcement is just gonna make it stronger, but what the black is gonna do is that's going to block light from coming out the back. That's very important because most screens are just like this white cloth. And what happens with those is the light hits the front and a portion of that bleeds through, that hits the wall behind it, it bounces back onto the screen and then it kind of makes the whole image look just like blurry and nasty. So this is gonna stop that light penetration. So the only thing you see is the light bouncing off the front. That's gonna make for a much nicer picture. I'm very glad that they did that. So I got the holes about 20 millimeters from the top and you wanna make sure you're checking both sides because if your house is not perfectly straight, mine's off by only a couple millimeters, so I'm really lucky most of them are off by quite a bit more than that. I'm gonna do the left side first because I wanna make sure that I'm gonna hit wood on this side because this side has the power and everything dangling off of it. It's gonna have a little bit more weight. I'm a little more cautious about this side. And if you got a laser level, it's probably a good idea to use it, especially with a screen of this size. If you have it off just a little bit, it's going to make the whole thing look crooked. And I'm going to use a one and a quarter inch screw, so half inch drywall. It's going to hit the wood for about a half inch and it's going to stick out a quarter inch for that screen to hook onto. And we're looking at 244 centimeters to the next screw. That is just barely off. Take it back. I just hit wood. Cool. So this outlet is a stretch for this thing, so I'm probably just going to end up getting an extension cord for that. But let's see how it looks. I like that slow motion. Cool. So we can also fine tune that. So if we have a projector like a short throw or something like that, we can adjust the screen instead of adjusting the projector. Cool. So just as a reference, the TV that was behind it, that was a 65. So that's the difference between 65 and 100 inches. And it stops on its own. Very nice.